Oh man, you guys who are gamers here on YouTube are going to love the news I have for you guys about live streaming on YouTube. That's coming up. Hey guys, my name is Tim Schmoyer and it's Tuesday, which means it's time to take a look at some of the online video news updates from last week and talk about the implications it has for us as creators here on YouTube. And I got two big stories I wanna talk with you guys about today, one about the live streaming thing, but first, Twitter released some new stats about how their Twitter video is performing as a video platform on Twitter. And a lot of the stats are very impressive, so much so that in due form, I went and I made a Twitter video and posted this. According to some new research from Twitter, they say that 82% of you guys watch video that is natively uploaded to Twitter. They also say that tweets with video are two and a half times more likely to receive replies, 2.8 times more likely to be retweeted, and 1.9 times more likely to be favorited. And I wanna hear from you, what do you think? Reply to this tweet and let me know if that's been your experience or not with using online video on Twitter. This study also found that people are consuming video differently on Twitter than they are on YouTube. In fact, 11% of people said that they search Twitter to find specific videos and specific content as opposed to 63% of people said they use YouTube for that. But 70% of Twitter people said that they used video on Twitter to discover and find new content, whereas only 20% of viewers on YouTube said that they use YouTube as a place to discover new content. So the difference is when you upload a video directly to Twitter, it has the potential for people to watch it just because it's in their feed and they're discovering it for the first time. Whereas you put it on YouTube, a lot of people are going there and actually searching for different information and content and videos. So it might make sense for a lot of you guys to complement your YouTube video strategy with a Twitter video strategy. I'm curious to hear from you guys in the comments below if any of you have used Twitter video yet and if you have, what has your experience been like with it? I am just starting to use it to be honest. I've posted a few but I think I'm going to give it more attention now with these stats and Let's be honest, just video online is fun if it's on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, buying, whatever. It's also fun on YouTube's live streaming service. Now, here's the thing. I know a lot of you guys are really, you gamers are really dedicated to Twitch, and that's awesome. YouTube wants to say like, hey, maybe we could get them to come over and live stream on YouTube instead. So a couple new features. One is that you can now live stream on YouTube in 60 frames per second, which I know is a big deal for you guys who want silky, smooth playback of your video game. Gameplay, especially when there's a lot of action happening. And to make it possible for you to live stream to YouTube in 60 frames per second in 1080p or in 720p high definition, they have worked with Elgato and XSplit to develop new versions of their streaming software that lets you stream directly to YouTube in full HD high frame rate glory. And the updates for the Elgato and XSplit software are available now. Now here's a cool thing. So Let's say you come into a live stream halfway through or it's already started, or let's say you wanna back up and watch a part of it again. Because YouTube has updated their live streaming service to be based on HTML5, which that means is now you can have this new feature where you can go back and watch a part of it and then watch the live streaming event in one and a half or double speed until you catch up with real time again. Which makes it great if you come in a little bit late or you gotta leave for a little bit and then come back to it or whatever. But here's the real question, right? Like, how many of you gamers are gonna give up Twitch and move over to YouTube for your live streaming. I mean, there's a lot of pros to that because now you can access all of your subscribers like right when you go live on your YouTube channel and there's there's, a, there's some pros to that but there's also a lot of cons because a lot of you guys have built up a lot of your audience on Twitch and a lot of you like having two platforms, you know, because you don't, it feels a little risky to put it all in YouTube's hands. So comment below, you guys who are gamers, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna keep with Twitch and YouTube? Or you think you might move your streaming over to YouTube or maybe test it on YouTube a little bit, see what you think? Let us know down there. And if you are a gamer, wanna know what your other fellow gamers are doing, read the comments down there and I'm sure you'll find something that's helpful for you. And if this is your first time here, I would love to have you subscribe. Every Tuesday we do videos like this to help you guys as creators. Tomorrow we got some YouTube tips and we got YouTube Q&A coming kind of up on Thursdays. And then guys, I do all this to help you guys who have messages that need to spread because I believe that people need to hear what you have to say and that your message can impact their lives. And I wanna do everything I can to help you grow your YouTube channels and your audiences here so that those people can have their lives be changed as a result of what you are doing here on YouTube. So thank you for letting me be a small part of that. Subscribe and I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Bye.